Hey everybody, this is Papa Pickaxe, and welcome to Deep Diep I don't know how to I don't know how to pronounce it. I, a lot of people don't seem to know how to pronounce it. Uh, this is just a fun little game in the same vein as uh, Slither.io and Agar.io, and it's pretty fun. You, you're a little tank, and you go around and, and shoot blocks and get points. And it's just kind of a little time killer. It's nice. Uh, I've played around with it just a little bit. Um, but we are gonna go in and see what we can do I can usually do pretty good but watch me really just screw it up now that I said that um, let's get in good we're on the side this is perfect exactly where I like to be so you see you get points by shooting the blocks with your little cannon and then you can upgrade things as you go I'm going to go ahead and do movement speed first. I kind of have a system when I play this game of what, of my upgrades and such. So, oh, there's somebody else. I don't really want to mess with them right now. So let's get away. Get my movement speed up first so I can get away if I need to. Because a lot of people don't go for movement speed at all. I mean, I like it to begin with. I don't put a, a lot into it. But then I start going bullet penetration because that will actually let your shots keep going after they've hit something and adds a little damage so that's good while you're trying to get points so we'll go for bullet penetration and we're just gonna stay on the side and we're gonna rack up points as we go there are other tanks this is definitely a multiplayer game as you've seen a couple you see balls coming out of the top left now um, so this is definitely a multiplayer game so we're gonna do bullet speed and bullet damage. We're gonna keep those fairly fairly even at the moment. So the yellow ones give you a good amount of points. These blue pentagons really give you the levels. The orange or red triangles don't really do much but definitely hit them if they're there. And then when you get to level 15, 30, and 45 you can pick up upgrades to your tank and those help majorly those are game changers so let's uh, use this um, before we get going I'm going to do a couple of health regens as we go along just in case I get into a fight and I can make my way out of it at the beginning it'd be nice to regen your health a little faster so we're going to keep going bullet speed, damage, penetration and just keep moving up the side I know this might not be the most interesting thing to watch, but it's definitely fun and it's a free game and so you should definitely check it out. So I usually like to go machine gun and that adds just kind of a spray pattern. Those little twin guys can't really compete with the machine gun. They think they can. They ain't got nothing on me. And that cockiness will get me killed eventually. But, okay. So you can see that I can shoot their bullets and stop their bullets. And I want to avoid them at all costs. Okay. And I need to remember to use my upgrades when I have them. Because they're not doing me any good just sitting there. Get this pentagon. Okay, so let's do all of those again. And these are really going to help me. So I, I get points and build up my tank along the side. Because in the middle, there are giant pentagons that give a ton of points. And that's where all the big guys go. So really want to stay out of the middle if I can for now but okay but I'll eventually start taking on some other tanks as we go along and penetration okay <laughs> random penetration okay so let's do speed and because bullet speed will make it harder for people to dodge you later on. Obviously penetration and bullet damage 
speak for themselves, but speed should speak for itself too. Now that I think about it, I'm just kind of rambling as I gather points before we actually start taking on taking on other players. So once I hit level 30, I'll probably take on some tanks. Let's see. Penetration. And eventually I start going for reload and that will help me shoot faster as well. So that'll reduce the time between bullets that I fire. So speed makes them go faster, reload makes you shoot more often. Both of those are very legitimate things. So I max out those two and go reload. And you can see a little difference as we go. Oh man, look at this treasure trove. Looks like nobody's been along this side for a while. You see a little leader triangle at the top. That's where the guy at the top of the leaderboard is. So you can always keep track of them if you want to hunt them down or avoid them. Either way. Um, I'm going to do, yeah. Let's do another reload. And you see it's coming out much faster now. I'm about to level up to 30 and get my next upgrade. And I killed somebody off the screen. That's another thing with a machine gun. The uh, they fly a lot farther. I killed somebody else. I saw him though, so I'm gonna go gunner. But destroyer, I may try destroyer next time. I'm gonna go gunner because gunner is what I know, and that's what seems to be the working the best for me. You see how those bullets just fly off screen, then they just keep going. So I could kill people that I don't even see, and I'll probably do that frequently as I go farther along. The thing with Gunner is when you get to 45, you don't get another upgrade. Gunner is your final form. So I'm just going to kind of upgrade my little bits and pieces as I go. But Gunner will be it uh, as far as tank forms go. So I just take stuff out. Man, lots of boxes for points. And I made the leaderboard. Number 10 out of, well, actually I don't know how many players are on this server but I don't think that 22,000 is for this board I think that's total but I don't know I don't know how to tell sorry Sweeney Todd well I don't know he might get away looks like he's got nope <laughs> sorry Sweeney Todd had to happen all right let's go health regen just in case I get into a firefight and with the gunner, you can just kind of fire. If you see balls coming out of nowhere, you can just fire away and hope. Spray and pray. Oh, that's a destroyer. His balls are going to hurt. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's the one I want to try next. I want to try destroyer. I've tried all the rest of them. I think gunner is the most effective at killing tanks but I will try destroyer marksman's nice if you do the marksman it opens up a little bigger view of the map so you kind of get an advantage on people and it makes your bullet super strong but it's harder to get points with this you can just rack it up just kind of spray around and hit a bunch of blocks and and get a lot of points and I'm moving up the leaderboard not super fast the guy at the top though he must have something going on he's I've never seen anybody with over a hundred thousand so this he's pretty he's got his stuff figured out let's say that I don't think there's any way I can compete with that but we'll give it a shot I'm gonna keep going reload I might throw in a max health or two depending on how often I get upgrades but that'll really help. Okay, that'll really help. I am number eight now. I'm not going to start pushing in quite yet until I get a little bit more reload going. See, he can't compete with this. Because when he shoots at me, my bullets are so plentiful, to use a big word, that he just can't. He can't shoot through my spray. So he won't be able to hit me, but I'll be able to hit him. And nice. 
took out a big guy. He had he had several thousand points. When you look at them, you can see their name and you can see how many points they have. So that's definitely helpful. See, this guy's got four and a half, four point four thousand. So if I could take him out, I would get a good amount of points. Oh man, see, so he's got bigger, he's got bigger balls, and they definitely hurt. See, mine hurt because there's a lot of them, but his hurt because they're super powerful. That's where my movement speed's going to come in handy. If I get into a fight like that, I'll be able to... Oh, I just killed two people I didn't even see. Uh, my movement speed's going to allow me a little edge on getting away. Like I said, not a lot of people do movement speed. It doesn't seem like, because they don't go as fast as I do, but... I think it just gives you a little edge, especially at the beginning. If you get overwhelmed, you can kind of get away. But, okay, so I'm number six now. I don't know whether I should go my health stuff or do reload. Because I'm not going to get but like one more point. I'll do reload for the sake of this video. Just because I want to be able to... To fuck some people up. I definitely want to work my way up the leaderboard. I've gotten number two a couple of times. Oh, somebody took out the big guy. He better quit. Because the leader is now at 41,000. So I've been able to make number two. Oh, he hurt. I'm trying to lead him a little bit now. Oh, yeah, he's, he's hurting me with that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. One more and I'm dead. No! Ah, <sighs> shit. Well, he's definitely, he was the one above me on the leaderboard. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run through again. As you can see though, you can, if you come back in, you can spawn at a higher level when you are. I was almost maxed out. Maybe next time I'll try the Destroyer or show you guys one of the other ones like the, the Pentagon or, or one of the crazy ones with like six and seven cannons coming off its side. I think he's got some form of the Marksman. So he looks like he's pretty good with that. But anyway, that is uh, Dieppe.io. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it Dieppe. Uh, I have no idea how to say it. And it doesn't seem like anybody else does either. So we're just going to pick away and say it and keep that rolling until we find out something different but thank you guys for watching this video again this is a free game uh it's pretty fun a little time killer there's free for all mode where everybody's killing each other there's a team deathmatch mode and then there's domination where you try and take over capture points and stuff so it's it's pretty fun little game a lot of stuff to test out and so hopefully y'all check it out but anyway thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it and i will hope to see you guys next time Bye.